In this episode of Tool Talk, I review the new cordless V20 chainsaw lopper from Craftsman that I've given the name Jaws, but sometimes call Cindy. Time after time. The Lopper is part of Craftsman's V20 platform, so it uses one of these 2 amp hour V20 batteries or the larger 4 amp hour battery. There's a version of this tool that comes with the battery and the charger, or a version that comes just with the tool. So if you already have a bunch of these batteries from some of the other Craftsman tools, well, you can save some money by just getting the tool only. Either way, they both come with the wrench, the manual, the oil bottle, and the only other thing that you're gonna need to get is some bar and chain oil, which is sold separately at your local hardware store. Now this is considered a small duty chainsaw because it just has a six inch bar and chain and it will cut up to four inches in diameter. It's kind of like a big old pair of scissors, but with a chainsaw and a whole lot safer to use. As opposed to a traditional chainsaw, which is open on both sides this has guards on both sides no gas or extension cords to get in the way or accidentally cut all you need to do is just put in the v20 battery now to get old Cindy here chomping away at your trees and shrubs you need to have both of these switches depressed at the same time just like this now this is a nice safety feature to prevent accidental operation the ergonomic design and these soft grip handles make it really comfortable to use too. Now just like any other chainsaw, this one requires bar and chain oil. So fill up the included oil bottle and then fill it up using the filling hole. This should give you about 10 minutes of cutting time depending on your cutting speed and the type of wood. So if you're using it a lot, fill it up often. Well, I've got my work gloves, I've got my safety glasses, the lopper's all oiled up and ready to go. Now I just need to find some trees outside to test it out. Chop, chop, Cindy. Now this lopper can cut up to four inches in diameter, but the biggest that I have in my backyard that I want to cut down today is just around three inches. So we'll see how this performs. Let's try maybe cutting a, a V notch. All right, there's my front notch. Cut an angle notch in the back and it should create that hinge to have it fall forward. There it goes. Whoa, that's a big boy. Jeez. A little bigger than I thought. Look at that. I need to cut this bad boy up. Now the great thing about these guards is you can cut pretty close to the ground, concrete or dirt, and you're not gonna risk hitting the blades because see how it's protecting the front of it? That's pretty cool. I have been dying to try out this new chainsaw lopper from Craftsman. I've actually had it for a couple of weeks and it's been staring at me every day with its cute little face going, play with me Christopher, play with me. But uh, I wanted to save it for a full review here on Tool Talk and actually have a purpose and go out and trim some of the tree branches that I've got in my backyard. I gotta say, this is one that I'm gonna use quite often. It's light for what it is. It's easy to use, it's safe too. If you're considering a open chainsaw, this is the one to get because it actually has these guards. The only downside is, is it's six inch, so it's limited in the trunk size that you can cut down, but this thing is awesome. I highly recommend it. For more information on this, just head on over to tooltalk.tv. I have more information and a link right there for you, and I'll catch you next Tuesday for another episode of Tool Talk.